I'm going to elaborate on rewards and returns. We are going to use the two concepts throughout the upcoming lectures. The two concepts look similar, and thus beginners can easily get confused. I will help you understand and memorize the two concepts. Return is also known as a cumulative future reward. Let ut be the return at time t. ut is the sum of all the future rewards, from time t to the end of the game. In practice, discounted return is more popular than the return defined here. I'm about to introduce discounted return. Think of this question. Do you think at time t, rewards rt and rt plus 1 are equally important? Assume you have two choices. First, I give you $100 right away. Second, I will give you $100 one year later. Which one do you prefer? All rational people will choose to receive the money right away. Why? Because the future is full of uncertainty. You may not be able to find me one year later. So, obviously, $100 today is better than $100 one year later. Rewards in the future should be given lower weights. I ask a different question. Assume you have two choices. First, I give you $80 right away. Second, I will give you $100 one year later. Which one do you choose? Some people may choose $80 because they don't like uncertainty. Some people may choose to wait a year for $100. If the two choices are equally popular, then basically $80 today is as valuable as $100 one year later. It means the future reward should be given a 20% discount. We concluded that future reward is less valuable than present reward. So I should give RT plus 1 less weight than RT. Since future rewards are less important, future rewards should be discounted. Let gamma be the discount factor. It's between 0 and 1. If you believe the future reward is equally important as the current reward, then you set gamma to 1. If the future reward is not important, then set gamma to a small number. Gamma is a hyperparameter that should be tuned. With the discount, the return becomes discounted return, also known as cumulative discounted future reward. Denote it by ut. The current reward rt is not discounted. rt plus 1 is discounted by gamma. rt plus 2 is discounted by gamma square, and so on. This is the discounted return we just defined. It is the weighted sum of the rewards from time t to the end of the game. Suppose the game stops at time n. The discounted return ut is a weighted sum of rt to rn. Let's study the randomness in return ut. At the end of the game, we observe the return. ut is observed so we denote it by lowercase ut. Upon finishing the game, we observe all the rewards. Denote the observations by lowercase rt to rn. We can thereby compute the return using this equation. Taking the weighted sum of the observed rewards, we get the return small ut. At time t, the game has not ended yet we have not observed the rewards. The rewards are random variables. Denote them by uppercase rt to rn. The return, big ut, is the sum of the rewards. The rewards are random variables, so ut is also a random variable. Denote the return by uppercase ut. Let's analyze the sources of randomness. Reward ri depends on state si and action ai. States can be random. The next state is randomly sampled from the state transition function. Actions can be random. Action is randomly sampled from the policy function. If either si and ai is random, 
then the reward ri is random. We discussed that reward ri depends on state si and action ai. As the weighted sum of rewards, return ut depends on rt to rn. Therefore, ut depends on all the states and actions from time t, including st80, st plus 1, at plus 1, to snan. If any of the states and actions is random, then return ut is random. Here I illustrate the randomness in the rewards and returns. The axis is the time. This is time t. This is the end of the game. Suppose we are currently at time t. At time t, we have not yet observed the rewards rt to rn. rt to rn are unknown random variables and denoted by uppercase letters. ut is the sum of rt to rn. Thus, ut is an unknown random variable. Suppose the game has ended. At this time, we have observed all the rewards. We therefore denote the rewards by lowercase letters. As the sum of the observed rewards, the return ut is an observed value. ut is just a number. It does not have randomness.